hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and uh, we're here on an odd day that I'm not normally here. Happy Wednesday everyone. All right you'll notice we didn't have a video yesterday because to this week is the Love Notions 40% off sale so I have videos that went up Monday, one today and then you have another one on Friday. All just giving you inspiration and ideas so that you can take full advantage of the Love Notions sale on the 40% off. Also like to remind you, you can get an additional 10% off the sale price with Tomcat 10. So definitely don't forget to use that one um, so you can get all of the discount that you would like. <laughs> the 40% off is taken first and then you get 10% off that. So it doesn't really equal 50% if that makes sense. So if you're buying a $10 pattern, 40% off, then that would be $6. Um, the pattern is now $6 and you would get an additional 10% off the $6, so another 60 cents off. So hopefully that makes sense. But it does get you some more savings, so make sure you use that um, to make, take full advantage. But today, oh, also before we get started, Harmony Blouse. I am giving away one copy of the Love Notions Harmony Blouse over on Monday's video, or you can, um, and all you have to do is comment, or you have, um, if you're on Instagram, I will leave a link down to the Instagram post where you can uh, leave a comment on that po post and get additional entries by tagging someone, you know, in each separate entry. Um, so you could potentially leave a comment on this video and then go over and leave a comment on the Instagram post and then, and then just like the post, make sure you're subscribed to me, and then tag some friends so you can get uh, multiple entries for that free love, uh, Harmony blouse. So make sure you head over there for that. You don't want to miss it. Okay, today, folks, I'm wearing a new Metro Blazer. We're going to talk about it here in just a second. But we're going to talk about my love for the Metro Blazer. I think that um, I wanted to do a one pattern three ways. And I recently, I'm having a love affair with the Harmony, or the, yeah, the Harmony right now as well, but I, ju I recently did a one pattern three ways on the Love Notions channel at the beginning of September. Um, and I'm also having, currently having a love affair with the Metro Blazer. I just think it's the perfect layering piece for fall. It just really takes every outfit from okay to polished and, um, per not professional, just polished and finished and just really classic. Uh, which is my personal aesthetic. I just think it's a great blazer kind of substitute. I mean, it's a knit blazer, but also it can look like a more elevated cardigan. So um, I'm really, really enjoying mine. <laughs> I've been wearing them a ton. So I thought we would go in depth with the Metro. I'll show you my newest one that I am wearing right here. I wore this all weekend because it is chilly here, um, or was over the weekend, and we are going to get into that. Okay. So I'm just going to talk about the pattern real quick and then we'll talk about um, why I have three in my wardrobe, kind of my thought behind that, and then some different ways that we can style the Metro Blazer. So that will be our three different ways we can also style it. All right, Metro Blazer. This is a knit blazer pattern. It is unlined. It goes together surprisingly quick. Um, I mean, there's really only a sleeve, a back, a front that wraps around to the back and also becomes the collar and then a um, welt piece. So there's really only four pattern pieces. Now the front gets cut out twice to make the back part for the pocket. Um, but is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, just four pattern pieces. Um, it has two options for collars. It's got the shawl collar, which is my personal preference, and then it has kind of like a wide um, lapel slash um, waterfall, not really waterfall, it's just more of like a wide lapel option as well. The pattern is meant for stretch fabrics, you need at least 25% stretch and meant for stable knits. Now I, if you watch the video on Sunday, I've had so many videos <laughs> recently, where I was going through Style Maker Fabrics and their new fall release, they do have a boiled wool in there that is um, technically not, a, it's not a knit, it's, well is it? Boiled wool might actually be knitted, but in, it's been felted, so it's been boiled <laughs> in order to do kind of a felting process, but it does have mechanical stretch, and I tested the sample because someone asked if they could make a Metro Blazer out of it, and I think you could. Now, the Metro Blazer is online, so do keep in mind that the things like a boiled wool would be sticky to get your arms in through. I mean, no worse than like a flannel shacket, but do keep that in mind. I find that the Ponte, um, like what I've got my three in, it, it's especially this one that I've got 
um, that has a little bit higher polyester content, my, my, um, it's a little slipperier, and so I can easily get my arms in and out of it. But it is unlined, goes together really quickly. Um, I'll put the size range right here for the bust, and uh, it comes with the full bust front or standard bust front. So it's got a lot of really great options. Um, I feel like I've also seen maybe Karina from um, Lifting Pins and Needles did a vest version. She omitted the sleeves. I'm pretty sure she did. Um, I mean, that would be an excellent one. I know she's done a jacket where she omitted the, um, the pockets and omitted the, the second piece that goes on the inside. So she left all of her edges raw, so she didn't do any hemming and used obviously a non-fray fabric, but kind of a, I think it was a scuba maybe. It was one of those that was a, a different texture on the inside and the outside. So when the lapel was open, um, it, it looked really cool. You could see the, the opposite on the inside. Um, anyway, fantastic. I just feel like it's the perfect finisher for any type of outfit, especially in the fall and in the spring. So let's talk about the versions I've made real quick and why I've made the ones I've made, and then we'll talk about styling. So the first one that I made is this cream one, and I made this in the spring. Um, it is made out of a Ponte, and it is made out of... I thought it was the same Ponte as the red, but it's not. I must have grabbed two different Ponties. So I... Yeah. <laughs> I actually think I prefer the red Ponte more to the cream just because the cream has a little bit more drape to it, but I like kind of the stability of this one. So I will link this Ponte. I don't think they have this color in the Ponte anymore, but I will link it down in the description box below, um, as well as this one. Um, okay, so this, <laughs> and I know that this Ponte comes in this color. Um, I made the cream one because I just wanted something, I would not made the Metro Blazer yet, I wanted to try it, and I wanted something that would be very um, neutral, but a little bit more elevated than a cardigan, for instance. So I made the cream one, and I wore the crap out of this thing. In fact, I've even noticed I've got some spots I need to treat. <laughs> Um, the other beautiful thing about these Metro Blazers is that they wash like a dream. I put them in the washing machine and then let them air dry. And once they've air dried, sometimes they're just a little crinkly, not necessarily, well, kind of rumpled, rumpled. Um, but a quick steam with the steamer and they, it comes right out and they look as good as new. Um, but I am so glad that I made this because I wore it all spring. Um, I did a sew the look with it where I had paired it. I think it was an Olivia Palermo, um, picture that I had grabbed where she was in like a cream colored like cami or tank and then had a white cream colored blazer over it with jeans and um, kind of a fun bag and then um, just like a slip on flat shoe. And so I recreated the look. That one went huge. I had so many comments on that. So the look, it was one of my better ones if I do say so myself. And um, I've just been wearing it nonstop ever since. Obviously summer hit, got hot. It stayed in the closet, but now that it's fall again, I think having a cream one, a light colored neutral for me, so it might be white for you, um, is perfect because I love that it keeps everything light and bright for fall. I even have a pair of cream colored uh, loafers that I got from Target that I'm wearing this fall. So this is definitely staying in my wardrobe and I, it's getting worn in fall too. So remember that you can wear your light colored neutral even in the in the fall and it's kind of an unexpected pop. It's like wearing white or cream colored jeans in the fall. Um, it's just a little bit kind of unexpected and I think um, just lightens up a fall wardrobe just a little bit more. So that is I think having a light colored neutral in your closet is a great idea. I also think having a statement piece is also a great idea. So this is fantastic for taking kind of a humdrum boring outfit and elevating it and making it look wow. So my second one that I made is this red one. Um, actually, you guys haven't seen this one on the channel yet either. I made this one, um, it was part of my fall sewing plans, and um, I made it in kind of my more of my brick red. This is less of my bright red, um, but red, warm red slash orange are kind of my favorite pop, uh, color for pop of color. Um, and I knew that having one in my signature color is basically what I'm trying to say, in my signature color. <laughs> um, so if you follow on the channel for a while, you know that I kind of have a color palette that I work from. Um, I've got a few neutrals and then I have my signature color and I have all of my basics, mostly in my neutrals, but then a couple of basics that are also in my signature color. Then when I'm planning out my capsule wardrobes for each season, I change out and put in like two accent colors and those will change depending on the season just to kind of keep things fresh and uh, different and current. Um, 
so I knew that I wanted one in my signature color because I could take you know an outfit made up of all of my basics throw on this in a signature color and then you've got a wow outfit so um, I went for this um, I think it's called Cardinal was the color. Again, I don't think that Minerva has this color anymore, which is unfortunate. All this Ponty actually came from Minerva. <laughs> um, but they do have it in quite a few different colors. And if you keep watching, they have a few other, I mean, they've got other Ponties that are on their site, obviously, in many different colors. But um, I do, I am, I've not tried all of them, and I would recommend this one because it did work really well for the jacket. Both of these did, but this one worked the best, I think. Um, and it does have some polyester in it, which surprised me. High polyester ponties are not, my friend. But a little bit of polyester made it just a little bit more stable, I feel like. Um, anyway, I'm very, um, I'm pretty sure this one had a little polyester in it. I'm almost positive. I know that this one had a higher polyester count content, but this one I think had a little bit. Anyway, love it for the pop of color and think that um, having a neutral and one in a pop of color is great. And then my third recommendation is to have either a fun print or um, even a dark neutral. So you could have four. I feel like three is gonna, is gonna give everything. And this is where this one came in. I just want you to see this print. This is a plaid. Can you see? Oh, there we go. So this is like my dark, um, technically this is like a um, kind of a camel color, rust color that's with black. But from afar, it comes across as dark brown. And um, which is perfect for my color palette. So I, and while I don't wear a lot of black, I do wear browns. And I think that this just comes off as, as brown. And this is filling the hole for my plaid blazer. So this <laughs> kind of made it easy for me to decide um, when I was running the poll on the Jessica blazer, I think I am gonna do the Jessica in the solid mustard and then do some pants in the plaid because I now have a plaid blazer and it's extremely comfortable. You can move very easily in it. This fabric did come from Minerva um, and it does have high, higher polyester count. I think that this is okay though because these don't get washed. I mean this one gets washed a little bit more because it's cream and it gets stains. But I doubt I wash this very often because it's a layering piece. Um, so it's not going to get pilly and bobbly, you know, like some pieces of clothing can when they have higher polyester contents. Um, it, yeah, I mean it's not completely polyester because a lot of those real polyester um, ponties I don't like the feel of at all. But this one feels lovely. Very impressed with it. I had bought it to be pants, but I'm so glad I made it into a blazer. I think that this just takes it's like it feels like a riding jacket to me. Um, so like any kind of plaid wool blazer, this is kind of filling that hole in my wardrobe. Um, I'm obviously got it on with jeans today. I think it looks great with the jeans. I think it's going to look great with some of the wool pants I want to make this winter. Um, and fall, obviously I won't wear it with the plaid ones, but um, I think that this is going to pull, you know, a lot of some skirts that I'm wanting to make. All of my basics. I can throw this on over all of my basics and it keeps things neutral. And then I can play with color like on my lips or in my jewelry or shoes um, if I want something. And I do usually like a little bit of color not just my neutrals for the most part. I may go monochromatic occasionally, but then I will usually do a bright pop of lip. <laughs> so um, anyway, so that is why I chose the colors that I did. I went with a light neutral, my signature color, and then a dark neutral that also happens to be a print, but it's a subtle print, kind of a tonal print. So I feel like it can be worn not completely like a solid, but very close to being a solid. So these are my three versions. Again, these two have been somewhat recently made and I've been wearing them a ton. This one's been worn, I mean, a lot. <laughs> it's a great piece to take some of the summer dresses into fall and I've really been enjoying it. Now let's talk about styling. How are ways that we can wear our Metro blazer? All right, so with the cream one, I currently have it and I'll pop footage of me actually in them so you can see. I love this over my long kind of prairie dresses slash, are they called buffet dresses maybe? <laughs> I think so, I think they are. Um, Cause I feel like it gives me a little bit more shape. So the opening in the front of the Metro blazer creates a long line. So it creates a line which then, the vertical lines obviously create the illusion of slimmer and taller, which I'm always looking for. Not always, sometimes I'm okay with things looking a little wider. Um, but I think that this is lovely in a jacket like this, especially with these dresses that are kind of shapeless a little bit, not shapeless, but they hide the waist. I think that having a layer like this over it just gives a little bit more shape. And I love pairing it also with my um, lace-up boots. These are from Thursday Boot Company. They're called the Captain Boot. 
wear these a ton. They are, they are broken in perfectly to my foot now, um, but I think they look really cool and definitely give a prairie nod <laughs> to the dress. But I really like it with the cream colored blazer and this is gonna be worn probably about as far as I can wear it into the winter before I need like real warm layers. Um, the dress obviously is um, also the Harmony blouse that has been hacked into a dress and I have a video on how I did that on the Love Notions channel. I'll leave it linked down below. Okay, next way to style a fun one with a pop of color is just to keep things very neutral. So this one I have paired with um, jeans, but you could also pair these with any trouser. Um, I'm actually currently making a pair of glissandos that are in kind of a salmon color uh, cotton twill. And while you may not think of putting salmon and red together, I think it's going to be kind of a fun color blocking moment. So I'm excited to get those made and play around with them with the red. And obviously these two would go, you know, easily with those pants as well. But I'm excited to play around with the red and see if I can create some fun color combinations. But I have this paired over my Lisa and Co. classic shirt. And I think, you know, with the sleeves rolled up on um, with the shirt, it kind of gives it a little bit more of a cardigan feel. But with that shawl collar, it just it just elevates it a little bit. I keep saying that, but it really does. Um, and I, yeah, I just think it's a really fun pop. And you can kind of put any shoe you want. I have this with a loafer um, that I thrifted and um, just love how that looks. And it just feels very classic, which is my aesthetic. I tend to go more classic with um, a lot of my clothing. That's kind of my lane that I like to be in. And then finally, with my plaid one, I, I've i been wearing the plaid one with jeans. Again, our weather has gotten chilly. I recently got this pair of flare jeans, and I love the plaid blazer with the flare jeans. It's just a little bit different silhouette than I've seen myself in a lot in recent years, especially with denim, and um, I'm really loving it. Uh, I have it paired with one of my new Arlington turtlenecks, Love Notion Arlington turtlenecks. You guys have not seen, um, I've made two of them, you've not seen them yet on the channel, but those will be coming in my fall video. I'll talk more about them um, a little bit. But uh, yes, I've got two of the Arlington turtlenecks now in my wardrobe of just plain ones. I'd made <laughs> I made some of the fun ones, but didn't have just any plain ones, and I'm loving that. Um, I also love my leopard belt, which is kind of print clashing a little bit because I've got a leopard belt with the plaid jacket, but it's totally the same, so I think it really works. So if you're kind of scared of the print clashing, um, something like this where you've got kind of a tonal print going on with similar colors in another print can be a lot of fun. Um, and then I've got these just with my uh, po pointy uh, toed boots so that I, um, you know, give my leg, leg a nice long line. <laughs> I need all the help I can get uh, to go under the flares. So there you have it, guys. I am a complete and total Metro Blazer convert, and I hope you guys feel the same way. If there was, I mean, there's a ton of patterns in the Love Notions catalog that I are my ride or die, that I just really love. They're great for hacking and that sort of thing. The Metro Blazer doesn't have as many, as many hacking opportunities as a lot of the other ones, but if you're looking for something to just really take your wardrobe up just that next notch and you do have a classic aesthetic, I highly recommend this pattern. It goes together really quickly. Um, I actually sew mine on both the um, sewing machine and the serger because I like my seam allowances finished with the serger, but I am sewing all of my seams with the, the um, sewing machine. And I even serged the bottoms of my hems and then folded them up and just um, top stitched them in place as opposed to um, cover stitching them. So. It makes it a very accessible and easy pattern to make for most people as well. So there you have it, guys. My Metro Blazers, one pattern, three ways. I've been wearing them a ton, and I hope you'll, uh, if you haven't got, given this one a try, if you've got it in your catalog, you just haven't made it yet, I highly recommend you do that this winter, <laughs> fall and winter. Um, and again, I've got the fabrics that I use linked down below if you are curious. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this Wednesday. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I will see you guys again on Friday, and I'm going to be talking about all of the Love Notions patterns, and there are nine Love Notions patterns that are in my current fall wardrobe, and we're going to kind of go over those a little bit more. So that's what we got for Friday. Don't forget to enter the giveaway if you haven't already. Again, those posts are linked down below um, for you to go enter in Monday's video and also in the um, Instagram post. So definitely head over there for that as well. Okay, guys, have a good Wednesday. Get some sewing in, and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye!